All right, guys. Richard here, e-bike reviews and adventure, where every day is an adventure of some sort. So, I'm headed out to Emma and Devin's house because I need to get a couple of videos done. Yeah, I got a couple of videos I need to knock out, and one being uh, I need to get the Truxus links from Emma and do another video with that. I'll explain why here in a second. Let me get through this traffic here. All right, looks good left. Looks good right. We're going to go on across. Oh, we're going to go backwards here a little bit since no one's coming so that I can get up on the sidewalk. Oh, through the grass. Ah. Yeah. All right. So, where I get bikes from, uh, from companies... You know, I, I mentioned in a recent video that I don't sign contracts. Typically, I've only signed really one contract with anyone. But sometimes we have a, a verbal agreement. And the verbal agreement would be, uh, you know, maybe they want something specific done in their video to show a specific thing. Or, you know, sometimes they specifically ask for an unboxing video and, you know, that sort of thing. And sometimes they request, you know, an, an extra video or, or something. And some companies that I have actually reached out to myself, when I reach them, I would offer additional videos as part of the agreement just to try to build a relationship with them. So, you know, I've done that before. Well, with Truxus, uh, we did have an agreement to, to do uh, four videos. And... You know, that was, I, I didn't mind doing that, that was fine. And so I needed to do the, the last video for them, but I wanted it to be like a follow-up video after a while, and Emma's had it for a while now, so uh, I, drew, I wrote it for quite a while before uh, she took it over. But I really need to get that video done, and so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna go over to the, her house and grab the Truxus links, take it out, Ride it for a little bit, do a follow-up video, and call it good. So, that's what I'm doing. But I'm riding the, uh, the Ingway M20, and I've mostly been riding it in my neighborhood, not going too far with it. But I decided that today I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this out a little further and take it over to Em and Devin. Let me show you real quick. So that's the that's the Ingway M20, and I'm gonna try to record the full review video on that today as well. But I'll just mention it in this video also. Uh, Mandy and I took this out yesterday for a while. Mandy really likes it. Uh, she likes it a lot. She says it's well balanced and it's just comfortable to ride. And you know, for her, it was more comfortable or, or more fun to ride than her Macro Scoria, which is a higher end bike. Okay. But she likes this one better, so she may end up with this one, and, uh, you know, it kind of depends. We'll just kind of figure things out here in, uh, in the next couple of weeks or something, if this is one that she wants to keep for a while. But it is, I, I understand what she's saying. It's a fun little bike for a couple of reasons, but, um, you know, it's, it's made for someone who's a little shorter than what I am. <laughs> because these moped-style bikes... You know, you can't adjust the seat at all. And if you can see where my, my knees are, I wanted to show you that. My knees are parallel with the top of the, the you know, the, this battery. Or if the uh, battery hadn't been there, it'd be a top tube. But, um, yeah, just, and then if I want to pedal, look at that. My knees are coming up close to my chest. So just not a good fit for me or for anyone who is even close to six foot I would say let's get you back up here how is that can you see I hope you can so but yet you know despite that it's it's still fun little bike to ride but we'll talk more about that in the full review video here shortly if I can get that done that's the plan Whoa, off the grass we go. Put that corner and turn a little too short or a little too fast. 
Amanda had this thing really laying down yesterday when she was going around some curves and I'm just not quite comfortable with it yet. I gotta I haven't ridden it that much, you know. Gotta get used to the weight, how it handles. Figure out what I can trust, what I can't trust. Yeah, so let's see here. Weather is nice again today. I think we finally got the uh, broke the heat finally. So I don't think we're gonna have to worry about any really super hot days, being that it's approaching mid September. Now usually, I mean, yeah, September has been it has still been pretty warm here, but um, as hot as what August was. Whew. Um, you know what we're feeling now just seems wonderful. The air is kind of dry too, so drier than what it normally is but come on light let's get let's get going here there we go finally got our turn all right let's see if i can take this turn this turn a little bit better here I'll lean it a little bit more. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just gotta get used to the bike. We'll take it pretty sharp. So one thing I've noticed, the this thing's got a, a rear shock on it, but it is one of the you know the cheaper shocks that you can get, and it's pretty stiff. And since this is just a uh, banana style seat, you know, there's no suspension seat post like, you know, I often get. And the seat is kind of firm. So, yeah, you feel the bumps a little bit. No one coming from behind, no one coming across. Now we got someone coming up behind us. No one behind us, we're cutting across. No one coming at us, not too close anyway, so we're gonna make our turn. Yeah, so anyway. You know, here's something I'm gonna do before I get to their house. We're gonna take a short little jaunt right here. They've got this nice little path in their uh, neighborhood and it's real nice to get out here on this little gravel path I've only done it once or twice let's go off road a little bit see what it feels like oh, not too bad we want to do it a lot. Whoa! Whoa! Woo -hoo -hoo! That, I believe, guys, was a corn snake that I almost that I almost nailed. There he go. Did you see him? There he goes right there. There he goes. Uh, I hope you saw it. Woo! Go back and look at the video on that one. That guy was pretty long. Uh, and the coloring on him, I believe that's what they refer to as a corn snake. So they're not uh, they're not dangerous anyway. I think they eat rats and mice and that sort of thing. Now here's a big old boy stretched across the road. All right, so that was fun. Amanda was telling me a story yesterday when we were out riding. 
and you saw that video you may have caught on the part of it she was explaining that right before I shared my story with her about the, the, the lizard that I squished by accident but she was telling me a story and she actually sent me a video if I find that video I'll show it to you I still have it but uh, there was a, a snake that was trying to get into uh, the door of where she works and the snake was trying to get into the sliding door you know past the sliding door and just having a fit and I guess eventually it finally made its way in part way and the door closed on and ended up killing the snake but <clears throat> she was sharing that with me all right you know what this is we're gonna turn around right here I don't want this video to be too long it's already kind of long I need to go back and find the trucks links and and bring it out nervous on this crushed gravel well it's not really crushed gravel it's crushed uh, shell but it can get a little slippery in places so you got to be careful going around these turns just not being real familiar with this bike you know I haven't ridden it that much yet but so far I mean it's, it's doing a good job it's handling things well uh, except for the bumps maybe not so much on the bumps maybe I'm just uh I know what it is. I'm just spoiled. I'm just spoiled and rotten because I ride my deer everywhere. The magic cycle deer has the uh, suspension in the rear, and it's a, it, it works very well. It does. It, I should do a video just on that suspension alone, but yeah, that, that suspension just it works very well. So I can cut across uh, rough terrain and and uh, it just yeah wow comfortable ride all right I'm not going to show you exactly where they live I may have in another video but I'm going to go ahead and end this video here so I uh, hope you enjoyed this ride I may record another ride on the return trip I don't know we'll see but uh, if you're new here make sure you subscribe if you have any comments or questions drop them down below I appreciate those I try to answer everyone and uh, until the next video ride safe